Hey, hey, pretty girls. Today I'm gonna to show you a fun twist on a classic Christmas look. Start by priming your lids as always. Best, best Hello? Just in the middle of filming, but that's easily editable. Probably be 5.30ish. 5.30, all right. Phone calls in the middle of videos are fun. Let's try that again. <laughs> Take a black smudgy liner and line the outer half of your upper lash line. My eyes are slightly sloped downwards, so I created a more rounder shape to the liner to create the illusion of a wider eye. Since I'm gonna be smudging it out anyways, I dotted it along my lash line really messily, so yeah, that's pretty. I used one of my favorite bronze shadows to brighten up the black and give a really pretty glow. Just smudge it along the black liner and up towards the outer point of your crease where your eyebrows end. Smudge anything left over on the brush under the lower lashes. I created a more rounder shape again near the outer lashes, thinning the line as I moved along the lash line to again create that sort of illusion of a bigger, wider eye. And then I took that bronze shade again and used it to softly define the crease. Next I'm taking this gorgeous cranberry shade and blending it from the bronze shadow into the center of my lids or crease. Take a shimmery soft pink taupe and blend it from the inner third of the lid, slightly overlapping some of the cranberry shades. Next use a shimmery gold and blend it along the top and bottom lash line, keeping the color focused on the inner half of the lid. Then I took a deep bronzy brown shade and smudged it over the outer lash line top and bottom. Line the waterline and tightline with a black pencil and pat a black shadow carefully over top to keep it from smudging. Highlight the inner corners of your eyes and under the brows. Finish up with a few coats of a super black thickening mascara for big bold lashes. You can also add false lashes if you want, but I don't particularly like them myself. For the lips, I opted for probably one of my favorite lip shades right now, Fuchsia. It has that same bold impact that a red lip does, but it keeps it really fresh and different. This particular one I'm using is really hydrating and has great color payoff as well. And that's everything. Click the thumbs up button if you like this look. It really means a lot to me. And if you do get a chance to try it out, send me a photo on my Twitter or Facebook. I'd love to see it. Have an amazing weekend, girls, and love you so much.